For this last example, we have y is greater than or equal to x. So because it could equal x, this means that we are going to have a solid line. So again, there's no y-intercept, so it's passing through 0, 0, and my slope is a positive 1. So I'm graphing this with a solid line. Now I need to pick a coordinate and see if it makes the inequality true. So let's say I already use this one. This is at negative 2, comma 2. This is a positive 2 y value and a negative 2 x value. Since 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2, this section will be shaded. And for our possible solutions, negative 3, 2 definitely works. 0, 0 is on the line, and because it's a solid line, that is a possible solution. And 2, 1 is not within that state shaded region, so that is not a solution. All right, as for the examples on the inside, I have a negative 1 y-intercept, and my slope is positive 3 over 2. So that means I'm going up 3 and to the right 2. Or down 3 and to the left 2. And it is a solid line. Because it could equal anything on this line. All right, let's test 0, 0 again. So 0 is that greater than or equal to 0 minus 1, so negative 1. And it is. 0 is greater than negative 1. Okay, possible solutions. Negative 3, 2 is within that shaded region, so that one works. We already determined that 0, 0 works. 1, 4 works. 2, negative 5 does not. 0, negative 2 does not. Negative 4, negative 2 does work. 2, 2 is on the line, and because it's a solid line, it is a possible solution. Negative 2, positive 3. That does work. And 3, 0 is not within the shaded region, so it is not a solution. Over here, I have x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So what this means is I find negative 2 on my x-axis. I put a point there. And because it's a solid line, or sorry, because it could equal this, it is a solid line. So it's a undefined slope, so it's a vertical line. So let's say x was 0, as in the origin. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2, so we're shading everything to the right of that line. Negative 3, 2 is not within that shaded region, so that is not a solution. 0, 0 is within that shaded region, so that is a solution. 1, 4 is a solution. 2, negative 5 is also a solution. 0, negative 2, yep. Uh, negative 4 and negative 2 is not a solution. 2, 2 is. Negative 2, 3 is on the line, and because it is a solid line, it is considered a solution. And 3, 0 is also a solution. All right, so there you have it. That's how you're going to graph inequalities on a coordinate grid, coordinate plane, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to just put glue on this side and glue it into your notebook.